Charles Jensen over the line. Absolutely throwing that case by, by 40 down. He's got uh, a new aircraft this year. It's very quick. And he's buoyed on the back of a podium place in Rotterdam. The homegrown Gloucestershire man, born in Hereford, uh, but now lives in Gloucester. His wife does horses for a living and he's got racing cars. So Barry, let's have a look. He was already 0.2 of a second ahead of uh, the time that we'd expect to be, but now it's going to be coming back to the game for the second time. Jonesy did a wonderful time yesterday. Let's see, the next split time coming up. Let's have a look. We're looking for Green. Green is good. He is 0.3 of a second ahead of our current leader, Michael Gullion. Not as quick as I thought, 0.3. Yeah, you'd expect him to be a little bit faster than that, but he's still looking good. He's got to stay out of trouble now, since uh, this point on the way back, the Gullion uh, collected the three seconds penalty. So he's underneath, and that time would have reflected the time before Gullion had the penalty. Yeah, there you go. It's 0.77 now. So we'll see now when he comes back up for the next time. I, I expected a lot better, to be honest, from Jonesy. He did a fantastic run yesterday where he was round around 1 sub 20. There's nothing wrong with his flying. And look how he came into this chicane. That's much more control. Oh, hang on a minute. He's picked up. He's cracked my flying again the same game. Time speed 129. He does a 125. Number 19, Steve. 1 minute 25. Six with a three second penalty hold first place. Okay, so far, Well, he's got to be disappointed again. The same thing he did with that thing. Incorrect knife line. It's, it's that gate at the bottom. That's what we said. That's where it's going to be won or lost. Let's take a look at it on the big screen.